Super Mobile. Welcome back, everyone, to some more Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. We are here with uh, Hannah and uh, the early, Hi. early stages. I don't think I know you. Uh, well, you will. Least you, stranger. Just stay with us, and you'll know all about the War Maids. Uh, Mormare. Hello, Mormare. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, Dunglanus is his faith. His city that he owns, or his town he owns. Tell me about Pendrake's Falling. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't really care. Didn't listen. But I did want the little checkbox. So let's head down to Inveth, which is where we were going, to go try to find a few more of the... Oh, that is awesome. Youth, youth, youth. Youth, youth, and youth. That's amazing. That brings us to our full 24 numbers. Let's head after these looters. They're part of the quest. They got that little quest icon on them because we can... Uh, Fight They're not them. looking for a fight. You're gonna have a fight. We can fight them with these awesome new troops, and uh, uh, that's gonna work towards our Listen fighting up. brigands quest. Also, Perfect. oh my goodness, this is amazing. Let's put our infantry Move. right uh, here. Right along in front Move there. Out. Nope, didn't work. Try that again. Like that. Alright, actually right here. That's not gonna work because they're gonna be in the way. Bowmen, Bowmen are gonna be here. Get the enemy's going to be over there. I'm going to move my character over to the infantry. And ready up here. I'm actually going to dismount for this battle. Batman, hear me! You guys are going to be here, please. Forward! Where's the enemy? 17 of you, huh? Now, hopefully these are bowmen can make some work. Hey, sister! Look at the sword sisters in there. One on each side. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ready to, uh, ready to fight, are we? Yeah, look at the range on those crossbows. They're much slower, but serious range. I can't possibly hit at that range, but hey, there's guys going through the waters. Uh, infantry, infantry, over here, please. Get moving! See what we can do about uh, putting some arrows down the uh, the run here. I'm getting light blind from these torches. That's what's happening. There. There's a good headshot. Another headshot. No, oh, that's infantry charge. I'll go in and kill too. I can't even see who I'm supposed to be fighting. I'm hitting my own dudes. There we go. Got one hit. <laughs> a couple hits. I couldn't even tell if I was hitting our dudes. We can't damage our own friends, so that's good. No losses. Excellent. We got some good variety of skills for that. That was the first real fight that we've done. And seven of our Highborns already leveled up. That's amazing. We've got ten of them. Which also is fr pretty freaking incredible. There's our Imperial recruits. We're going to go ahead and up level, level up the whole batch of them um, with a control click on the Imperial infantry. We want these guys as our front linemen, our, our infantry line. So there we go. We have a Hillman and, from earlier and four looters as recruits. Look at all that. A whole bunch of fun. Uh, we don't have a helmet, so let's find a... Use that, I guess. That one's five. Yeah, they're better. I don't think any of this gear is going to be particularly good. We don't have any gloves at all, so the crappy ones are better than nothing. A bit of food gained there. Oh, we also go over our limit here, so we exceeded our volume. But uh, these guys sell clay in town here at 10. Wow, that is fabulous. We don't have the capacity to hold it, so we'll come back for your clay, I'm sure. Let's uh, let's leave and head up to the beautiful town of, in, on the river, hilly river town of Penkanach. I'm worried about the uh, Batanians losing land early here. That could be disturbing. There's a quest available, Escort Merchant Caravan. So this one, you follow with the caravan, you actually get to fight on their side when they get inevitably raided by large groups of nasties. Not a bad option, actually. So we might take that one on. It also, it takes us for a journey far and wide, though. That's probably not the greatest situation. The oil uh, is a good profit. Right there, nice shiny green there. Not much else for profitability here. We do have more crew now, so, oh, I was going to say, so getting more horses would be viable, but of course it's not. Because there's no other, um, there's no other pack animals. I could get some actual 
uh, mounts for troops. Now, the infantry and archers will not use mounts in battle, obviously, but they function like a, a mounted infantry. They ride the horses between battles. So it gives them a, it gives them a speed boost, is basically all it does. All right, so the trade options aren't great there, but uh, we do have the quest here to fight some things. So let's go after maybe the... Oh, there's a group down there. Yes, let's go after this mountain bandit patch pack here. If we can get into the... Oh, my goodness, they're riding me far and wide. Oh, two groups? No? Come on. Jeepers, we're not very fast from this, are we? Are we? Uh, I'll take them all on, but we're going to get out of range. Ah, uh, they get out of range. So the, the the icon disappeared. So we gotta wait for them to get back in range. There we go. Now now chase somebody. Here, those eight jeepers. They are faster than me by a good margin. There we go. We caught them. All right. Surrender or die. That was that was more than it needed to be for an, of effort. Uh, so because we've got more than 20 troops, we get this layout. And I didn't talk about this one yet, but basically you can have eight different uh, commandable uh, teams, armies, whatever. Um, battalions, whatever they're. Uh, you can assign your, your people to captains. I do not know what hero troops are. That's interesting. I don't... Not at all familiar with that idea. Hmm. That sounds cool. Um, but uh, we have... You know, we can control the... Basically... Move! Tactical starting position of everybody. And that's, you know, not that vitally important, but... Uh, infantry, come over here, please. On the flank, and bows up there, so you're not trying to shoot past each other. There are eight of these fine fellows here. You might stay mounted for this one. Crossbows. Ladies, are you ready yet? Come on. They gotta be in range soon, right? 140. Oh, they're probably down below the bluff there. That's what's going on. They're holding their first round of uh, fire. Also what's going on. There we go. The crossbows now have a, a bit of a target. Uh, not a great one. Oh, that was not at all where I tried to shoot that thing. Oh, hello. You guys have javelins. Not great. Put in charge. Just wildly flail oh. ow, wildly flailing shots into Yep. My weapon is not gonna do this job well. <laughs> I was looking at the dude not the Nice! The uh, top right there's a little red uh, skull appears, that's a death of the enemy or the person who's hit. And the grade one was a uh, uh, really good. So we, we wounded two of them. We can now take as prisoners, and we killed six of them. We lost nobody again. Jeepers. So the youths didn't get any hits there, or any kills there. Uh, probably because of the layout of how that battle went. Ah, the Sword Sisters. They are ready to upgrade, so we can make them veteran Sword Sisters. Right now their skill is in crossbows 90. It'll go up to 150. Very nice. I'm totally in favor of upgrading you fine veteran Sword Sisters. There we go. You get the top place of honor in the list, next next to, you know, family members and the, and the whatnot. All right, let's take those. There's Batanian peasants here. I'm going to leave them. The Batanian peasants don't actually give us much as far as uh, advantage. Oh, that is actually decent boots for a friend later. Let's take those boots. Uh, let's keep those boots that were in nine. Where were they? Oh, right down here. Let's hold on to those. Gambison might actually be worth keeping as well. We'll see. We'll see what we end up with. Um, all right. We finished another brigand attack in the area. That's great. Let's head off uh, for the merchant, the Highland Merchant Loop. Boosting relations there. Gain skill and charm, which is always fantastic. Got our athletics and a scouting skill. A scouting skill lets us increase its day traveler, or we can go night runner. I'm going to do night runner. Having the extra sight during nighttime. And uh, travel speed at nighttime might help us stay out of nighttime battles, which is a physical disadvantage to me and to for the for you guys to be able to see as well, because it's horrible to try to see battles in dark, dingy forests in the daytime, let alone at nighttime. And it genuinely can't be changed. There's no gamma, so I can af post process more light into it, but I can't see what I'm doing. So I like to avoid night battles when possible. The athletics gives us either morning exercise for a combat movement speed for us and any troops that we're captain, 
or a well-built, which is five hit points for us, and five hit points for troops uh, in the party. So for perspective, we have 100% health. We also have 100 points of health. So that is uh, five more health. I think we'll go with that one. Make everybody a little tankier. Lovely. We're heading around it this way. We can actually start looking at uh, potential options for some relations boost. I think Torled needs tools. Okay. Um, Hi. What kind of tools? How you doing? I'm Hannah. You'll know more of me. I think the idea of boosting relations in the Highlands is going to be fun. In these early days. Um, village is short on Donars. We can make payment in kind. With 18 hardwood logs. Need one tool. That's it? Okay. Well, I don't have one tool with me. Although I should probably walk around carrying them. Um, we probably don't have spectacular options for profits to be made real quick here. Look at that lord is running around on foot. That's uh, Melodir. He's also very quick at it. Man, he's good. He's going to be in the castle, so he's probably going to be untouchable. Yep. I can't talk to him. That's all right. Uh, special weapons orders, something from the smithing, which we're not dabbling in at this point. There is a tournament to be had here, which we'll look at in just a moment. Let's look into trade. We have a bunch of loot to get rid of. Like, I mean, a bunch of it. That's $1,000 worth of loot and the, sh the shields and th two more, three, four more dull weapons. 1987 bucks. So we can definitely make money uh, trading, or um, not trading, but uh, smacking things around. Sumter horses or mules? Or workhorses? Yeah, whatever. We'll take uh, a variety. They're not... Uh, super cheap but increasing our number to about a thousand that seems reasonable to me let's look at what type of trade options we have as well iron ore is a bit better here but i know it will get noticeably better than this we can get more than that uh let's go ahead and do that tool quest we'll buy out we'll buy out two, actually we can buy out a lot of tools no we can buy out two tools so we've got another one for a future quest if needs be and we'll just kind of pop around a few towns here. We'll do the arena for here first, but if we look at uh, this area, this is actually quite close. So Penkanok, just across the valley, we go to Dunglanus. Around the lake, we hit Maranoth. Back around the lake, Seonan, and we're back to the loop. And then we also have Penkanok in the mix there too. So we can bounce around these five towns and get some decent local trade going. It won't last forever. It won't make us super rich, but it's a decent start anyways. Uh, Melodier is one that I need to talk to, but we'll see about uh, the arena now. Now, <clears throat> these are going to be... Oh, nice. This is three lords. Oh, okay, right. It even says it here. Apparently, there are three lords with renown fighting skill present in the city who plan to enter the tournament. Give, given this turnout, the organizers are offering an as to the victor. An Azalegate is an elite horse this is a uh, mount riding skill 90 just to be able to get on the darn thing yeah it's a noble mount really really nice a sword sister one of our sword sisters is in here nice uh kulharn is and lucan are likely to end up uh in the next match and melody so the three lords and us well that's gonna be awkward we are fighting against none of the lords in this match, which is also awkward. I'd love to have them in there because this is, that would be an opportunity to eliminate some of them. We've got some good cash. We've got 4,500 bucks right now. All right, two-handed weapons. We've never used them. But they hit like a truck. And that guy was not a two-handed weapon user. Picked warrior. This is a four... No, nope. no, oh, we got the swing through just in time. Huge damage on these things, and I absolutely love the two-handed weapons. We're going to definitely focus on that. Uh, picked warrior, sword sister, me, and a hero. Okay. The hero you need. Ah, wow, that's terrible. Oh, no, it's, yeah, that's terrible. Because the four of them will all be in here. Oh, no, one of them will be eliminated by the other. We'll be fighting a hero. Melodier will be on the op opposing team. So, as long as we win this round, we get rid of Melodier. Next round, one of them will be eliminated and we'll probably fight the other one. I am not going to do the sword thing. I mean, this, the, uh... Um... Yeah, dude, dude, don't... Nope. 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 Oh, no. 
little hun. You gotta win it for us. You gotta win it for us, buddy. No, win it for us. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh, he's against Maladir, and it's a shootout with a tree between them. Oh yeah, you got the advantage on that shot. Good, but he's already wounded. He did it. He took us on to the next At round. Lost. Yeah, cool horn. Saved my bacon there. So he's gonna be fighting Liu Kang, who's like godly. They're both god tier. Um, and we're fighting a Batanian hero. What a lucky break that was. Uh, the hero's less skilled than the other two. Like the other guys, as you can tell, were swinging pretty aggressively. Oh. Uh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was the best blocking I've done early on in a game with two-hander. It, it's really something I've been trying to work on because it's tough with, with having directional skills. Let's see who we're fighting. Liu Kang, Kulharn did us a favor and we don't have to try to beat him in the end to win. Uh, but his skill that did all that didn't, wasn't able to take out Liu Kang. Well, this could be, this could be terrible. Yes! Yes! Two solid hits! Wow! Wait a second, did he not? Yeah, he did. He took him out full on. Oh, that was so lucky. Uh, Asalagat. That's an epic horse. We made 1,200 bucks. See, the betting was better here. We made more money off the bets. That was awesome. Okay, straight to this horse. It's 14,845 dinar worth that's more money than we've ever seen we could sell the horse for that but it's a cheap price for this horse right here <laughs> that's way below market value for that horse that's nuts uh we don't have anywhere near that riding skill i don't remember what a riding skill is but it, uh, 29 we can't even use the regular combat horses <laughs> So, so we're not going to be doing it. Uh, speaking of which, I think we're going to start boosting our military now. Pardon me. Um, we did get the trade up really good. That was helpful. That's going to keep that growing nicely, very quickly, actually. I'd love to get tactics. But that's kind of a secondary. We've got a bit of steward growth. The skill is still increasing. Tactics is one we're not getting much of, and it's going to matter a lot uh, later on for simulated battles, but it's we're not going to do a ton of those right now. I think the two-handed weapons is the uh, weapon. So we're going to want to wield a two-handed weapon, some form of pole arm, a bow, and be on horseback. We also want our athletics up, too. So I think if I do two-handed uh, focus for now, and then we'll put some into athletics, and kind of keep the four, five of those skills kind of working their way up together. Although I'm probably going to do pole arm later. So a lot of advantage to that one. That was a really great fight. So, really great fight. I'm, I'm absolutely stoked about how that turned out. Lucky is how that turned out. Um, hides are showing a decent price here. But what I think we'll do is we got 5,800 bucks in hand. I don't know that hides are going to be profitable running about. So we're going to go ahead off to the next town. There's a village quest here. I do want to do any of the... There's Art of the Trade. Nice. Well, I do no, want to do any of the trades we can to um, get things rolling. This guy wants to sell us one load of produce. Whatever the produce is. 220. He sold us for one load of some produce. What did you sell me for one load of produce? Was it linen? I think he just gave me a linen. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen linen. Uh, fur. There you go. Pen cannot get double the money. We'll take that fur for sure. Do I have cheese? Uh, hold on. We'll take your fur. Cheese is not a spectacular price. Do we don't have any butter? I'll take that. And our grain stocks will bring that up to 10. Got to keep our food supplies at least positive. If we get high enough, we start gaining some... The more the more variety of food we have, the better we gain our... Um, the faster we... What the heck? Didn't we have a quest for a tool? I bought tools. Where was it? Down here, right? Uh, oh, leave. Right down here, right? Yeah, there we go. 
Complete that. Oh, that's a lot of looters. That is a lot of looters. Let's see about turning in this quest for this guy. But the quest you gave me, a botch of the tool. Thanks. Uh, he's going to give us some products as promised. Hardwood? Yes, it was hardwood. 18 units of hardwood. Not bad. Now, we didn't spend... We didn't spend anywhere near that much, and it's a good price. Uh, this is a city associated, so it's not going to be spectacular. We're going to head to Dunglanis, but let's take out these looters on them. Oh, they're, they're going to outrun me, aren't they? Yeah, we're going to turn away. Oh, there. He keeps popping into town. So, oh, he's not in town. I thought he was going into the town. Uh, he keeps popping through towns and... Uh... Oh. Hogs. What? That's not a great price for hogs. Is that what we got from that quest? Where did we get the hogs from, man? Uh, we can sell for tools for a profit. This is uh, not a great profit, considering we can sell it for 400 elsewhere. Um, yeah, I don't remember what we got the hogs for. Uh, we could sell the hog for 59, or we could sell meat for 49 and hide for 41. Let's butcher one. Oop. And that gets me one meat and a hide. All right? Good. Uh, we'll sell the meat and we'll butcher the, the other. Oh, I can't butcher him? Why can I not butcher you? Why can I not butcher you? Capacity exceeded. All right. Uh, let's check our inventory here about that high hogs. Can I butcher them now? I can. Good. Done and done. Let's uh, pop in trade and make sure we got rid of the stuff we don't want to keep. Which one's better? 14.73 or 14.86? Uh, we'll throw that one away. Lovely. Now, this is still not a great price. 61 is not a great price for that. We can sell, we can get more for it. Silver is still not great. The fur is okay, but again, we can get a bunch more for it. We'll sell off this meat that we got from the hog and the hot fur. The, oh, we get furs out of that. But did we? No, we get hides. And they're not a great price here either. So, uh, goods that we might want to buy. Is there anything at a great price? Grapes. I didn't know you had grapes. And now we got this random uh, merchant in town that's telling us that Hubyar, which is far, far away, will pay 54 for it. Not good. Not good because it's too far away. Uh, beer is quite good. Straight back across the valley. And we get 70 bucks a piece for them. Awesome. <laughs> we're gonna, so we're going to go to Karbansev with uh, the goods we just picked up. So let's see what other things we can sell in Karbansev for a uh, profit. I don't see any yet. Raw silk. Yes, that's a doubling profitability as well. Yes, I know we're exceeding our capacity. I'm aware of that. We have an evil number of dollars left. And let's not get ourselves um, attacked and killed on the road, I suppose. Right? That's important. Uh, leather. Uh, no, we're looking for profits to Karpanseth. Wow. Velvet to Penkana. Uh, yes. <laughs> Let me sell one of the furs and then take your velvet. That puts us 85 bucks short. We'll sell them another fur. Or how much money did we spent? 99. Well, just enough that we've got that. Alright. 4,600 bucks. And we run straight back across the valley to Carbanseth. We definitely are slowed down here. Very, very, very terribly. So as long as we don't get a big giant horde of baddies that attack us, we should be fine. Like forest bandits or 40-something looters. Also, moving so slow makes our caravan get past like five times on the road there, which means we could have some serious losses of profit uh, from simply... Yeah, okay, we'll only go down till the green... The light green number disappears. There's some velvet. Not a bad sale. Well, one of them's not a bad sale. Still profitable. 64 beer, huh? 
uh, we'll definitely be able to make some money off that. So we just want to drop it until it goes yellow most for most bulk items like this. And then keep moving around the valley. We'll leave this one. I know there's better prices for this, but let's do the same thing there. Okay. Good sales. Making profits, making trade. Uh, I mean, if you're making trade skills, you're making money on the trade. So that's good. Olives, not really great. Uh, Penkanak is where we're trying to head to. Uh, it, the raw silk is actually showing as a very good profit there. It's unfortunate that I just sold it all. Mm-hmm. Wool can be sold to Penkanak for grand profits. Tools, somewhat. I mean, that's okay. It's a decent amount. It's 20 bucks a piece there. And wine's not good enough to be using it. Penkanak for the linen. We'll get one of those. Leather, pottery, oils. Yeah, see, oil, 300 bucks profits off of one of those. Supposedly, more velvet. Uh, no, hold on. Hold on, that one was very expensive. 840 bucks for the second one. Yeah, well, it's still, I mean, if it sells, it's still profitable. It's still 200 bucks. Do it. Do it up. Uh, there was no mission there, I don't think. But we're heading down south here. Let's head a, or across here. I guess that is south. Excellent. We do need to get more speed. Uh, and that's going to come from getting more horses. And keeping ourselves out of the overburdened. And selling off our prisoners. Right now we have... Uh, we're losing, or at night time, but we're losing uh, 0.29 speed and 1.37 speed. Prisoners and overburdened. So being overburdened is a, is a major, major hindrance. It's causing us to take days extra to get to our targets. So uh, we bought these decently low. There you go. We'll get rid of all of them. And there it is. 1085 for those. That's good. Good, good. Maybe not the second one, but that's okay. Uh, what other... Profitabilities do we have here? We can sell off the hardwood because we did get it for a song from a particular quest. That's okay. No, I don't want that fur going actually. Right there. All right, another 3,500 bucks in hand. We got 4,400 now and we're at trade 43. That's excellent. Making money, moving around, doing the things. Charm to 25. So, um,. Viral gives you, or viral, it's viral, but it gives you a 30% more likelihood to have children. Hmm, not really the top priority here. And a governor bonus, and we generally aren't a governor. I don't think we ever get a governor bonus. I could be wrong on that now, though. Now, party leader plus one morale while defending in a besieged settlement. So I will defend it at some point. But most importantly, self-promoter gives you plus three renown when, in a, when you win a tournament fight. So, yep, give me a medal and... Call me awesome. And mostly I get a lot of renown. Uh, we got warrior diet or frugal for the steward skill. If we are the steward, which, you know, eh, I think we'll go with, with frugal. Or um, as a quartermaster, we get a 5% wage reduction. But as a party leader, we can recruit for cheaper. This one has party leader where we don't suffer any morale penalties for running around with only one food type, uh, which we normally do. And it consumes less food, so not really m vital. Save money, you can get more... Uh, save money, you get more uh, more money to buy more food. So it seems like a win to me. Uh, made changes need to apply. Yes, please. Uh, none of these guys are ready to train yet, but I do want to go into the tavern and sell... Elite hired crossbow. No, I want to sell off our loot... I mean, our uh, looters. Okay, so... After selling all of these goods and making a bit of cash, what else is available? Boop, 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 boop. We got a green here, beer. I wish there was one that showed you, like, um, relative prices compared to, um, compared to, so just show me all the things that are in green. <laughs> That's what I mean. Show me all the things that are in green. Take the clay, because it's at a good price. Uh, raw silk, hides, wool. Mm -hmm. um, I think we'll keep moving. Do a bit of a circuit, maybe. Yeah, sounds good to me. 
head off and we'll head around this way to check on this quest. So we'll do. Uh, needs help with brigands. Yes, please. please do your thing. I appreciate it. Also, the uh, the other advantage to doing these quests is that we gain relations with these nobles. So you see there's three nobles across here. They're also listed here. So the guy, uh, Ryland of uh, Ab Khmer, is a has recruits, and he has these ones. Notice this guy up here. We did a quest for this guy earlier. Getting rid of some bandits, which is what we're doing for this guy now. Uh, we can get four because this tier has to be unlocked by relations. Uh, level 11, you don't have a high enough relations to acquire this troop. You have one, you need 10. Same over here, it's going to be a much higher. We need a 40 plus relation, 20 plus relation, and a plus 10 relation to unlock their various levels of, of um, trainees. So we'll go ahead and recruit two of this guy's fun friends. And then let's take care of some bandits. Maybe we can pop both of them at the same time. Can we do that? Not likely. Not likely at all. They're likely going to get across a bridge and, and we'll have to chase them away. Nope. You guys aren't doing the doing this thing right. Wow, that was entirely pointless. Let's head up this way to Dern. It's probably going to want us to... Hello. You're going to move slower because you're there's more of you. No, you were just not very fast at all. Uh, what else is slowing us down? Oh, we're heavily overburdened still. This guy we can catch. There we go. And it's probably going to be another one of those nice, uh, convenient bridge fights, right? Hit me! Uh, or not. We're on a hill. Okay. Ready. Infantry Warrior archers. Yeah. Uh, I want the archers Watch actually. It. And it goes into, into slow-mo mode here. I love that. Get me there. And infantry, it. I want you into... Shield! Shield formation here. Move out! Yeah. Yeah, I actually got a hit. That's impressive. I also need to get a new weapon. Like, really badly need a new weapon. Oh, no! Infantry attack. Oh, headshot. Nice. I don't really see any, uh, Deaths here. Bowman charge. Just kind of running my horse into them to distract them. Because I can't get hits effectively with this little, little tiny hatchet. They got this little tiny. Wait, what is this? It's not even a proper, like, tree cutting down type of thing. That'll take you an hour to cut down a tree with that bugger. So our veteran sword sister can't gain any training, so her not, her not shooting anybody and gaining levels is actually perfectly fine by me. Alright, the Imperial Infantrymen are now trainable. They can go up to uh, trained Imperial Infantrymen. What, what a surprise. Gives them uh, a better gear. Look at that, they got their javelins now. Solid, epic weapons. Uh, we could train our 10 of our highborn youths. We did get a couple extras right now, recently, so we'll, we'll hold off from those. That's one of the needed deaths. Skill in leadership is now 15. Lovely. Sit over here. Uh, what is our what's our party size again? 26, huh? Guy's gonna, that guy's going to run away. Right, there we go. Chase him back in there. I'm, he's he's too small of a band. That's part of the problem. Yeah, we can't we can't really catch these guys. They're so fast. Got to pin him in the mountains somewhere. There you go. He's a, he is a mountain man. Oh, he's gonna just run through the mountains. Never mind. How about you? No, you're way too quick. Okay, let's go to the city and sell off some other stuff or. Uh, let's actually go to Maranath and sell off some stuff. We haven't been over to Maranath. I think it's the capital, officially, of the Batanian lands. <laughs> he just took off. He was looting that place, burning, uh, pillaging the village. And, like, twice his, man his manpower arrived, so he bolted with some wisdom. All right, tools can be uh, sold at a profit here. Good, we'll get them all off there. The silver, the iron, we just need to kind of thin out our supply here as well. Silver ore at 166. Uh, not great, but it tells me it's a profit. 
fine like that. Uh, the fur, 250. Get rid of a few of those. Sell some of the beer over here. Actually, all the beer is fine. There we go. 5,700 bucks more in hand, and it drops our overburden status down substantially. Now we got 9,200 bucks. I'm going to look and say we probably want to go find some good price horses. We could also improve our own horse's uh, armor, but it's not spectacularly important right now. What about a weapon? We haven't gotten a weapon from a tournament yet. I wouldn't mind having one. There's no lances here. We need to go down to uh, someone else's territory to find that. No real good weapons here either, so not good at all. That is a length of 65 with almost no damage. Not sure why this is not showing. Oh, that's a spear bracing. This is a, uh, yeah, not a couchable lance. We'll put it on there for future us we do have bows as an option in this uh these areas so there's cer certain bows have this uh icon on them so you don't want those if you're wanting to mount run around with a mounted bow uh the hunting bow and the mountain hunting bow are decent uh but that's what we've got right now the simple bow the uh, simple short bow is a recurve actually and it's quite quite a lot better it's quite a lot better it's 1500 bucks but we'll go ahead and splurge a little for our own uh for our own sake there we go i i don't think we'll get ourselves a shield we could get the stacked bodkin arrows but they're six thousand bucks look at that three piercing 32 that's basically that's the ones i think that the uh fian champions use so pretty awesome we have a tournament here we can get involved in which is going to be awesome there are two lords of renown highland throwing axes absolutely useless for me but we can sell them off Melodier made it through. And then there's us and Tigan. Okay, let's do some betting here. Join the fight. Oh, that's not good. We're just gonna wait. Run all you can. Oh wow. Nice. There we go. Got him with her. Aha! I'll switch. Arr. <laughs> we don't get to pick our weapons, so. Uh, so next time, we've got uh, a tough fight coming up. Let's see how this is going to work. Do we do it? Can we do it? Oh, he just got that knee shot on me. There we go. As long as I don't take the arrow to the face, this might turn out okay. Or not. Ow. Yeah, there we go. That was just a mounted skirmisher. That wasn't even the tough one. <laughs> that wasn't even the hard guy. Digging was the first one. All right, skip that. Oh, he! Look at that. Milladir did not make it through either. So it's us versus a highborn warrior. Hopefully it's not a shootout. Next time is. This one is a trained warrior again. The one that we beat last... No. Skirmisher we beat last time. The one that we fought with. The side we fought on last time. All right. That's not how you use that blade, my friend. <laughs> hey, 225. We'll get a new uh, perk after this. Wow, that's excellent. All right, the crowd's going pretty wild here. Oh, and it's axes. Probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Two ends now, 26. Athletics, 36. Awesome. Gotta get those speed rates. Hey, Highland throwing axes, six renown, 1,500 cash. Excellent. Lovely, lovely times. We have uh, almost level six as well. Two-handed, our first two-handed perk. So we got two options here. Woodcutter, 30% damage to shields with two-handed weapons. And as the captain, damage done to shields 
Uh, damage against shields by troops, and it says uh, just troops, so I don't know if that's troops with axes, or if that's troops with two-handed weapons, it's just troops, which would be actually pretty potent. Let's say we were with a group of our archers, the Fian champions. They're gonna do massive shield damage to the enemy shield wall with their bows. Well, 15% more, so not massive. Uh, or we could go two-handed skill for infantry troops. Now, infantry troops is not melee troops. So our Batanian, uh, again, our Batanian heavy archers uh, have a two-handed weapon skill that is very impressive. This will add more to it. I'll go with the handling for the two-handed. Make us much more, a little more dexterous with our two-handed weapons. I like it. Um, we did a quest here. There is, oh, a scholar. Yeah, scholar, oh, scholar with 180 medicine. Too bad, Jordan, you weren't born a lady. We could have hired you. Um, I think that is awesome. We're going to keep any of this? Probably not. Those boots we're keeping. The rest of it can probably go. Sure. And those axes were worth from that quest over that uh, arena. Thousand bucks. Not bad. An extra thousand dollars in the bank. Never hurt anybody. Uh, Batanian. Yeah, see, I do want a better mount. One we have is fairly lackluster. I don't think that's something we can spend money on right now because we're really not using it enough. I mean, we're using it, but just to ride around from point A to point B, right? So let's look through uh, things that might have green pricing. Uh, we got pottery. Not bad. 127 is not a spectacular price. Uh, I do need to head back the other way. And Glamis has a decent profit to be made off of clay. Grapes, 29. And Kanak. So nothing really special there either. All right. Let's head out of there with the 1800 bucks in hand. Uh, we got that one done. Was there an actual legit useful quest? Caravan ambush and gangs needing recruits. Uh, did we offload our dudes? Yes, we did. Okay. So now our speed is five. So it's not terrible. But it's not great. We definitely need to have our armies uh, equipped with uh, horses to get them around from point A to point B. What are the prices on iron doing right now? Not great. We can pick up iron in the area and uh, really do a decent amount of... Um, have a, get a decent amount of benefit if we actually run like iron and specialty horses and lumber and so on. Uh, Luke Hayden, you're one of the ones that I can talk to, right? Um, off to other other places like into imperial lands or over to uh from vlandian lands they can be quite profitable uh that's good right there that hardwood is quite good pick up that and actually i can show you here this we got like two other this town has some but we also have two towns or two villages that have apparently i'm yours is not a face i know it isn't but you will tell me about pandreic oh caladog uh that's really awkward I had a quest that was a fake one. He's just probably picking up uh, troops here. That's what he's doing. Oh, we can pick another one. Good. And uh, some product. Some hardwood. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll grab a bunch of hardwood as well. Uh, cargo capacity exceeded. That's awkward as, again. Eh. Let's head down this way. See about any of these. Uh, see about this uh, horse town. See if we can pick up some actual mules and such. Uh, or Sumter Horses, 110. That's noticeably cheaper. That is a good price for those. Uh, the ponies are actually not bad, too. What if we took these guys? So that's 6,200 bucks. That's 11 troops that are going to be footmen on horse, giving us a 0. 0.42. And, and they hold their value. Um, I'd also like some more workhorses and some more... Oh, no, hold on. Not workhorses, just for the extra... Stack, I'll avoid that. That's good there. That eliminates the issue. $3,500 spent on horses, which is not a small amount. Not at all a small amount. Get a little more grain in here. We don't have any butter. Price is okay. Take those. And then let's just uh, kind of work our way back around to Caravanseth, to Glanis, a few extra spots, and maybe we uh, go finish that quest and then head to um, 
What's the hide prices like? Uh, then head to we got a we got a kill quest I think still for one fifty. Yeah, definitely worth buying. Oop. Green butter cheese. Yeah, basically almost any town you can run into and get the get that stuff you know supplied. So you shouldn't be running with only one food type pretty much ever if you're working your way around things. We got these at a decent profit. We can sell them higher elsewhere. Maranoth, for instance, wants some. You have butter for a good price. Any uh, clay for eight. Seen noticeably better. Let's go for some higher ticket items. Yeah, let's take these and then head to Maranoth. Two of them is fine. The leather... Uh, not great profits available right now. No, no, no. Fur. Fur we're taking to Maranoth as well. Good. I like it. Wine, no. Silver. Yeah, silver we'll even be able to take there. There is a town that produces silver here too. Maranoth. You're just a beautiful uh, place of awesomeness. There's a silver town right over here. We can do that. Then we can head to Maranoth by uh, Duramore Castle. Hannah has gained a level of skill and scouting went up. It's now 32 in scouting. Another point to spend. Um, I think we'll put in an athletics. Keep those rounded uh, base skills that we're going to need a ton of. Uh, athletics will help us move quicker. Uh, needs tools. Um, do, we have, do we have tools? I can handle it myself. I don't know if I had tools, but I always like to take that. I do have a tool. Excellent, and I think I even bought them at a good price. So building relations is fantastic. There you go, friend. And let's see what we can get for silver. That's not a good profit. Not a good price at all. Building relations with the whole town, apparently. I'll stop by all the various different spots we can. Yeah, see, there's some nice options here. Hides are a great option. Is that hides? It's fur. My apologies. Fur. Not hide. Uh, no good rate there. It's fine. We can go knock out these looters. Get some you good money out of that. It's a decent sized army. Oh, there, we're, it's, it's dark and we're in the forest. Well, that's awkward. Uh, let's go this way. And start there. So we're way off to the side. Uh, infantry in ahead here, please. Move out! Actually, let's go down here with the infantry. Get moving! Shield up! Put you into shield wall. Archers! And the archers are fine over there. Unfortunately, this uh, beautiful pokey thing on my shoulder is not. Oh, that is quite an, quite an arcing spot there. Uh, we're in shield wall formation and absolutely pelting them. Headshot. Oh, with that. Oh. Returned the favor with that headshot. No, well, that didn't work. One of the archers can probably take this guy, right? Okay, I'll take him out. There we go. Jab something with a long po pokey stick. Excellent. So yeah, decent uh, ability to knock out those looters. That that does help. Get a little bit of training done. Uh, 13 of the warriors are ready. Mm. You know, we're not going to get a lot more. Um, oh, no, we, we might be close to actually leveling up another batch. Hold on. How far, how close are we from to making a uh, uh, the clan tier? Uh, 15 still. That's not a lot, actually. Let's push for that in the next episode. Let's head back towards Enkanach, and we'll also finish off some quests. Next episode, we'll do a tournament or two. Uh, if we do three tournaments and win, we're at the next level. That's it. Landlord needs manual labor. Don't we have manual labor for him? We have four. How many does he need? This guy needs prisoners. Um, criminals or war captives. Um, nine of them. 
Nine of them, huh? What are you gonna give me for nine of them? I'll do that. Oh, 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 what, what the heck? Moment of your time. You're on a job for Cadfin. Am I right? Look, our people are depending on those jobs. He doesn't need to pay us living wages if he can do the work with prisoners. Please break your agreement. We don't, you don't have to do this. Um, how about I share the profits with the people? So we got a bit of charm. And we still have that quest, right? Did I do that right? Yes, he needs laborers. And we're going to share the profits for the quest with the locals. And that's... Eh. Okay. Well, we got quests to do for next time. But uh, we'll do that next time. Thanks, everybody, so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, links in the description if you're interested in more details and uh, interested in joining the community. And I'd love it if you hit the like button before you head out. Thanks a bunch. See you in game.